Hi, my name is Miss Tessa and I teach here at Valley Dance Ensemble and I am excited to dance a story with you today. Today, you will need a little bit of dancing space. You can push some furniture aside and make sure there are no toys or anything on the floor that you might trip on. Make sure that you have a place where you won't slip and slide and then get ready to move. Today, we will be dancing the story, A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carle. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me? He thought, I must find a new house soon. Can you make a tiny space? Let's see how small we can get. We might tuck our head or our arms. We might thread our legs and curl up. Let's make, try and make an interesting shape that looks kind of like a shell. You can try new things. You might go onto the floor. How could you make your shape more interesting? Very good. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looked so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. Okay, let's move into our bigger shells. Let's find our tiny shell shape. and move and grow into a bigger shell shape. Good, let's try a new one. A tiny shell shape into a bigger shell shape. Very good, one more. A tiny shell moving into a bigger shell. Very nice. Let's see what happens next. In March, hermit crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain, it needs you. I'll come whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. Did you hear how the sea anemones were moving? They swayed with the ocean. Let's try some swaying movements. We can sway side to side, using our whole back to sway. We can sway back and forth. Make sure that your, even your neck and head get involved. We can sway just our arms. We can sway them up high. Very good. What other ways could we sway our bodies? Could we sway our legs? What might that turn into? Let's try different ways of swaying. Very nice. It's so fun to try different things. In April, Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the seafloor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw 
and put it on his house. Hmm, did you hear how those sea stars were moving? They were moving slowly across the floor of the sea. How can we move slowly across the floor? Hmm. We can start by making a sea star shape. Let's experiment with different ways of moving slowly across the floor. We can slide. Maybe we could go side to side, wiggling with, from our hips. What if we were sea stars on our belly? How could we move slowly across the floor? Keep experimenting. Try new things. Very nice. Let's see what happens next. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Hmm, these coral didn't move at all. They were hard and they made a still shape. Hmm, I wonder what kind of interesting coral shapes we could make with our bodies. We could start on the floor. Let's think about all the different parts of our bodies and how we could change them a little bit to make the shape more interesting. Could we put our feet flat on the floor or up on our toes? We could move our fingers. Ooh, interesting. We could try something new with our elbows and shoulders. We could change the focus of our head and neck. Maybe down low, maybe over to the side, trying all kinds of new things. What about our legs? Could we make our shape more interesting with our legs? Oh, balancing shapes. Let's see how we can hold it. We can point our toes, we can flex our toes. What about our back and our torso? Can we change the way they are shaped to make an interesting coral shape. Keep going. What kinds of ways can we change our body parts to make our shape more interesting? Good. Now, I'm going to get my drum and I'm going to play it. Every time I hit one, two, three, four, you're going to change your shape. So we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll make new coral shapes with each four counts. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. New shape. How can we make it interesting? One, two, three, four. Oh, very nice. Keep going. One, challenge. This time, when I hit the four, if you have a grown-up or an older sibling around that can lift you safely, try and hold your shape as still and as strong as you can while they try and move the coral. See if they can lift you without you changing shape and set you back down in the exact same shape. Let's try it. If you don't have a grown-up or someone that can lift you, you can always just keep going with the one, two, three, four, a new shape. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now, if you have a 
Ask someone to lift you. Hold your muscles strong while they lift you and change you to a different place. And you're still a strong, still coral. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good job. Can you be lifted and moved without changing shape? Squeeze those muscles. One, two, three, four. Last one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Very nice. I'm sure there were some beautiful and very interesting corals. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hard working you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Okay. This one's kind of fun. We're gonna move along the floor just like we did when we were sea stars. And we might move kind of slowly because as we know, snails have moved pretty slowly. But let's play with the speed a, a little bit. So, let's find new ways that we can slide across the floor. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Making interesting shapes and changes as we go. up a little bit? How fast could our snail move? We could do some rolling and some sliding. Just make sure you're being careful. Now, if you have a couple of blankets lying around or even some soft toys that you can put on the ground, we're going to try and clean up like we did or just like the snails did. Now, finding a shape on the floor, we're going to see if we can create a path through the blankets or toys that we just put down. How can we use our whole body to clear a pathway? We can even push with our heads. Very good. Did you clean up just like the snails did? Let's see who he finds next. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. Okay, how can we move like a spiky sea urchin with all those prickly needles? Hmm, well, we can use all of our different body parts, right, to make prickly shapes. But also, when I see something prickly and pokey, it makes me think of percussive movement. That means sharp, and fast and strong. So, we are going to make some percussive shapes, just like those sea urchins. They don't have to be pokey and spiny. They can be all kinds of shapes. It's more about the energy and the movement. We don't go there soft and smooth and slow. We go there sharp and quick and strong. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play on the drum and I'd like you to make some sharp, quick, strong movements. Here we go. We're going to use the same rhythm that we did earlier. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure that you're holding your shape as long as you can until you can't hold it anymore and that four count comes and you change. Holding, 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 change. Holding, 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 change. Holding, 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 
change. Let's try it. Here we go. Holding, 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 sharp. really spiky, spiny sea urchins. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered through a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. Here they go. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. These lanternfish darted. To dart means to make a quick movement, a change. They are also bright and have a light, so our shapes need to be bright instead of dark. Can we think of those things? We're thinking of bright, darting movement. Let's try it. For this one, you're gonna to wanna to use up a lot of space, as much as you can, so you can use the whole area that you have. Here we go. So a darting movement might look like this. If you were running, you might change direction really quickly. Run, 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 dart, 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 good. Now let's add our bright shapes. So when we're going, our shape of our body needs to be open and bright and light. Let's try it. I'm gonna pull up my pants so that I don't trip. You might wanna make sure that your clothes aren't in the way too. Here we go. We can even add some jumping and some turning. Just make sure it's bright and light. Very good. I'm sure that you are doing a great job. I'm out of breath. Here we go. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered the Hermit Crab. Okay, did you hear that it said the pebbles were so smooth? Hmm. Let's think about smooth movement. Would it be sharp and percussive, like the sea urchins? No, smooth movement would be nice and sustained. It can still be fast, but it doesn't have any sharp points. It just moves fluidly from one shape to the next. Let's try it. Some smooth movement. Nice and smooth. No sharp points. Lovely. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon, he would have to find another, bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They've been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They're like family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I've outgrown my shell, 
she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You're welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in a little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. Let's pause there. First, we started out in a really tiny shell shape. Can you make a really tiny shell shape? Then, we expanded into a bigger shell shape. Now, we're going even bigger. So we had a small shape, a medium-sized shape, and now, we're gonna grow into a large shape. Let's try it again. Small, medium, large. Now let's reverse. Large, medium, small. Now we're growing. Small, medium, large. Reverse it. Large, medium, and small. Very good. Okay, dancers, what do you think is going to happen at the end? The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon, he spied the perfect house. A big, empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clamfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. This is the perfect place to end our story, but to begin our dance. Just like the hermit crab set us so many possibilities in his new shell, you have so many possibilities in the way you can move your body. So keep trying new things. Pretend you are different animals and see where your movement goes from there. You can try different body shapes with all of your different body parts. Even your fingers can dance. We can try um, using um, size, small, medium, and large to change our shapes. We can move slow and fast or smooth and percussive. There are so many possibilities and combinations. So now it's your turn. Go get creative and make an interesting dance. Have a great day.